Good morning, Patriot Magnets here, out again with uh, Ross. Done here for a couple of days, so we'll get this done. We're at bridge 69A and 69B on the Rochdale Canal in Middleton. So let's see if we can find some cracking treats. Right, first find, finally. Scaffolding clamp. They're them railway brackets, I think. We'll go on the railway track then. There we are, Ross has found the biggest real, thing so far. Real iron pipes, Scaffy will be happy with that. Yep. Excellent. Metal bar of some sort. Cool. Mm, I don't know what that is. I'll wait for the clean up for that. That's a little fish nook as well. Oh, yeah. <laughs> nice. Oh wow, check that out, the glass is found, that's cool that, second part of the railway, could be, yeah, get the solid, whatever it is, get the crap knocked off that, yeah. nice, right. found loads of these little rivets, that have obviously fallen off the bridge when it's been built, found this blue disc, Clean out, see what it is. And a little ratchet bolt. You do. That's got a weird end. Nice bar here. Another one of these poles with a circular end. Thought we were the first ones here, apparently not. Just magnet fish and another magnet out. <laughs> I don't know. So a draw. Yeah. Cabinet. Oh yeah, yeah. Finally oh, yeah. cabinet. Found another one of these as well. Oh yeah. Look at that. Two of these found there. Yeah. Nice. We'll scrub them up, yeah. Yeah. Take one home, yeah. Solid. <laughs> I thought it was a gun there. Yeah. <laughs> well it is, it's a silicone yeah, gun. <laughs> there we go. So that must be stuck right in. Yeah. Right. 
definitely not a rider. Check that out. Why is it in the lock? <laughs> I don't know. There we go guys. Place it away from me. What is that? First two P. And whatever they are. Go another one of them train ones. Oh, we got a red one. Cool. There we are. Fish hook. Fish head. Mint. We got one. <laughs> oh, Ross is on the first bladed article there. <laughs> nice. Oh, set of keys. Yeah. Someone's house key. And a washer. Well, that's another one of them J bars I call them A lovely chair. Tight. Alright. Yeah, we can just throw it back over, can't we? Good find that. Helping the walkways, aren't we? Auto spray paint. Yeah, we've had a cracking morning again, me and Ross. And uh, we found some good finds, so we're going to go clean them up. First of all, we're going to have a nice brew and uh, clean them up and uh, just watch out, see what's uh, coming up next. So, uh, thanks again, Ross. Cheers. Yeah. And uh, we've enjoyed ourselves, and uh, thanks for everything. Love you guys. 
Right, we're back home now after having a cracking morning out, me and Ross. So, these here is what we've found together. So, start off with this. Bit of an off-cut piece of pot. Pipe. Yeah. Bit of piping. Sure, what this should be fits onto something, obviously. Hmm. Spoke. Bike spoke. I see. Yeah. There's a little um, chisel, I think. Just see it on there. What a miniature one. Feel that. Washer. And this here is one that you connect wheels to. I've forgotten the name. So help me out, guys. Might as well do these first, don't we? Alright, uh, there's a rusty frame of a bike seat. Hmm. Part of the gears. Where the chain will fit. This is part of a bike as well. Hmm. Let's see here. No, scrubbing part of it, I think it's the top part where the handlebars sit. I reckon the frame comes out. Frame goes this way, handlebars go up, and there's the front. Piece of scaffolding. Don't know what part, but it's manoeuvrable. There's another part, another scaffolding bracket. Seen better days, on it? We love finding these, don't we, guys? Thumbs up if you do. Another part. Another one. This I think is off uh, where the brakes go. Brake pads sit in there for a mountain bike, BMX. What do you reckon, ladies and gents? We're having that. Alright, these four here are what they call clips track clips i don't know if they're called track clips actually but they're called clips that fit on the tracks and there we go we've got four of them now this one don't look like it's been chromed or painted up like the others might be a bit of a a reject it actually says something there Got some initials. Can't really make them out. Well, they're photograph them. <coughs> right, set of house keys. Front door, possibly. A lovely design. I see yeah, what Ross found. It's a reflector for when you go cycling. Get this, get a wrist, and it's meant to go around it. Yeah, that's why it's probably in the canal, it don't work. Uh, bottle cap, don't know what that one is. Smirnoff, look at that. Uh, 
Yeah, bit of a blue bolt. Weird. Unless it's just been corroded. I made like that. Hmm. Alright, Ross found this. Possible murder weapon. Screwdriver. Around here, they used as car keys, these. Hmm. Yeah, energizer. 9 volt battery. Great for metal detectors, these. Anyway. Well, not. Scissors. Yeah. Uh, looks like a shared head off a bolt. Here's some more bolts. That's in better nick than that, isn't it? That's absolutely battered. Look at the blue bit as well, like the other one. It's like it's been chewed. Hmm. Alright, Ross pulled this one up. I'm thinking that this was used as a fishing weight. It's obviously used to weigh something down, isn't it? 7 16th. Hmm. Cool. Right, hooks now. We have a fish head going on with a dodgy lip. There we go. And this one as well. This is a three hook one. Or do they call it a tri hook? The spinner. Yeah. yeah. Big nut. Shard of metal and a small nut. Ross pulled this up, which is another magnet. Obviously, not been tied properly. Rookie error, mate. Rookie error. Whoever's this is. Cheers. I could do one of them. It's quite strong, actually. Let's have a bit of a test. Yeah, get that. Look at that. Strong that baby. My lab that. This here, I think it's off part of a, a draw system. Comes out, goes in, what do you reckon? Okay. Block of wood, but it's got nails in it. So there we go. These are quite interesting. That Ross pulled up. I like the J symbols, don't they? We haven't got a clue what these are. So if anybody could help us out with these, much appreciated. Two of them. Quite heavy, sturdy. Let's see, it looks like it's off. Probably a mop handle actually. It's quite hollow. Yeah. When Ross pulled this up, he actually just saw this end and thought it was an actual gun. Well, it is a gun, it's a silicone gun. But obviously, it doesn't work. So, in the canal, it goes. Ah. These pieces here, part of a fence panel. As you can see the top bit, we've also in the memory outside at canals. Yeah, good for a scrap man that. And what else have we got over here? This is just a scrunched up piece of bar. 
quite solid. Same again with this one. Quite solid and sturdy. No markings on it. And this one here. It's got this ending. On both sides. It's like a stretched out rolling pin. We did find a couple of these, but one of them were more duffed up the other, so we gave it scrap, man. But yeah. Anyone help me with these, please? I've got a clue what they are. I found a couple up to now. And I've got this pole as well. Threaded end. Quite heavy. Alright, this, top of a golf club. And then another hollow pole. Um, auto spray paint. And it's got two of these little marbles in there. I've just dropped one on the floor, but never mind. So that's when you shake it. That's a nice. Interesting. Now, what you've all been waiting for is this beauty. So, when I was pulling it out, obviously, I did think it was a real one. But, on a closer inspection, you take this out, and it's obviously a BB gun. Uh, this is called a Bison, and it's got a few numbers and letters. I will pop it on the screen. The description of what it is because I did look it up and the reason why it has this color in um, obviously as you can see if that's sticking in your face you know that distinguishes that it's actually not a real one and it's actually against the law to change that color to any other so it it needs to stay like that um, obviously for if the police come across it or someone's waving it at the police, you know, they can uh, distinguish that it's not real. But that is an excellent find, that's a key for that. Alright ladies and gents, so, thank you for subscribing, and um, I hope you've had a good time, I hope you've been out finding some treats of your own. Um, please check out Magnet Store for Magnets, um, I'll pop a promo code up, at the end of the video so you can have a look and treat yourself to um, some magnets and um, right so we're going to go on some next treat soon got a lot of things planned so please stay with us hit that bell as well so you know when i upload new videos love you guys take care